Hi, this is the first tutorial on HTML2 WordPress. In the previous screencast, we've just completed a fresh install on WordPress. Now, if this is a live site, we should probably think about securing our brand new installation from hackers. Because the last thing we want is for all our work just to be wiped for somebody's idea of a game. Actually, uh, we've already taken some steps in securing our uh, WordPress site during our install. Remember, we named our MySQL database with a unique name that is not WordPress or the name of the site. And then we created a new password protected user just for this database. We've also changed the prefixes of all of database tables to something other than WordPress when we were setting up the uh, wp-config.php file. All this is done so that we can protect our WordPress site from back end of the things. And so it essentially prevents hackers from easily accessing our database. Well, in this tutorial, we will be dealing with security from the front end, mainly access to WP Admin. So let's get started. All right, let me just open up Firefox. Okay, so in the previous screencast, we've just logged into our fresh install, which is on the admin account, which is created by the WordPress install. And we've checked to see that the site is working by clicking on visit site, and it should load up fine, a fresh install page. And actually, for a new install, you might notice there's a red label notice on the dashboard that says uh, would you like to change the password on this account well i i removed that but essentially because we will be, we'll be deleting this um, admin account because it's rather insecure so that doesn't matter you can just ignore that so how do we delete the admin account well we first need to create another administration account with um, a more complicated username to do that, we go to Users, click under the tab to open it up, and then click on Add New. Okay, we are now adding a new user. Uh, type in the username, pick something that is uh, not easy to guess. I'm just going to put something here, doesn't really matter. And then you need an email address. Uh, an email address here, you need to type in something that is different as compared to what you've inputted into your um, original installation account email. Because if you type in the same thing, it will tell you you can't log in. So uh, one way you can do this is by, if you don't have like an alternate email address, is by going into something. Uh, just Google for this. It's called 10 Minute Mail. What this does is it gives you a temporary disposable email for you to use for about 10 minutes and this will work fine for our install and then after that you could just get rid of this and change our email back to original once we deleted the admin account. So just copy that and then go back into our WordPress page and then just plunk in the email address here. So this is going to be changed later just to remind you again, so don't worry. And then type in the password. Now this password, you want it to be secure. And WordPress suggests that it should be at least seven characters long with a mixture of upper and lowercase letters, numbers, and symbols. Okay, so type in your password. And then um, you can, well, it doesn't really matter whether you send the password or not, as long as you remember what the password is. And then set the road to administrator and hit add user. Okay, so uh, we have created a new user right there. And now we're, and we have to make sure that it's set to administrator and you remember the password, correct? All right, now we're going to go and log out from the admin account to and log into this new administration account that we created in order to delete it. So I called it another name. All right. So and then type in your password. Log in. 
Perfect. So now you're in your second administration account. Now we can go in to delete the existing admin account. So we go back to users. Just click on users. This will open the tab of all the users. And then we will go click in here and choose delete. And it will tell you that when you delete the admin account, it asks you what to do with the rest of the posts and links that is owned by this user. Well, in this case, because there's only um, like demo stuff uh, post that is associated to this um, default account, and we're also going to be in um, importing a bunch of uh, dummy text, we can just delete them. So just go confirm delete, and it's done. Okay, now that you have your new name, you should probably change this name so that uh, it doesn't show up immediately on your post. So if you go to edit, so you're now editing the profile of your current admin account. Uh, scroll down, the nickname here, change the nickname to your name or something so that uh, it would hide your username. Um, I'm just going to put my name, Cheryl, and then it would, and then you click on uh, display name to your name and then the email address now you can change it back to your existing email perfect and now you can hit update profile and the user profile is updated okay now that one thing is down we should move on to our second step and so the second step is to prevent hackers from being able to repeatedly guess at our login information to gain access to the um, WordPress admin panel. So what do I mean by that? Well, if I log out here and start typing in things, uh, let's say if I type in, actually just type in some random stuff, you would see that WordPress will tell me that the is an error because I entered in the invalid username. However, if I type in the correct username, if the hackers just so happen to guess the correct username, but type in the wrong password and hit login, it tells me that there's an incorrect password, which means that um, a hacker can go in and guess as many times as they want until they figure out what your username is and then they can work out the passwords using the same method. And so we should probably do something to fix it. Well, to do that, we can use a plugin. So let me just log back in and, in and show you how to install a plugin to stop this from happening. So the name of this plugin is called Limit Login Attempts. I've provided a link to this under the resource section, but it's probably easiest just to install this directly inside WordPress. Okay, so to do that, we go under the side menu again, click on the tab for plugin to open it, go to add new. And then in the search for plugin box, type in limit Log uh sorry. Limit login attempts. Uh, attempts. Okay. Limit login attempts and hit search plugins. Okay, and the one we want is the one up top. The name is limit login attempts. Uh, the current version is apparently 1.4.1. .1. And you can hit on actions install. So uh, it tells you the description, um, all plugin does this. It tells you the description of what the plugin does, what kind of features it has, uh, translation. And um, at the moment, it tells you that plugin has not been tested. But um, this version, I tested it before, uh, before, and it does work fine on the newest install of WordPress 2.9.2. .2. So just go ahead and hit install now. And then it would tell you that it's downloaded, un unpackaged it, and it installed it. Okay, and then we go in under here, activate the plugin. Perfect, and so if you look at below here, we've added a new plugin called Limit Login Attempts, and the currently this is activated. And so what this does is it limits the number of uh, login attempts a user can make to free attempts only. And then after free attempts, if you got the, the password and login wrong, then it will lock you out for a specific period of time.